dear viewers, welcome to our channel for Tech Talks. I am Anne-Marie. And I am Tim, and we are engineers with the technical support of Penta Hoffmans in the Netherlands. And today we will Tech Talk on how to maintain the gehaltemeter and take the plunger out for a cleaning. The gehaltemeter measures CO2 content in a carbonated product. And uh, via the Henry's law, we measure temperature and pressure. And via the CO2 formula integrated in the meter, the CO2 content can be calculated. And therefore, it is of course important that the carbonated product is running through the meter without CO2 breakout, foam or bubbles. It's also important that the plunger uh, can be smooth from the open to the closed position. To ensure a closed well sealing measurement chamber. Important for correct pressure measurements. Let's begin on how we do that. What kind of tools do we need? Mainly the keys are present in our service set and including the set of O-rings. For a good, well-maintained plunger functioning, it is better to check regularly if the plunger is clean and you easily can open the plunger by unscrew the four screws that attach the plunger onto the meter. Okay, when the four screws are screwed out, we can try to take out the plunger, turn a little to move out the plunger carefully without damaging the plunger block. So we can clean quickly the plunger, also the plunger hole with the brush in the surface set and replace when needed or just clean and grease again the O-rings and try to take back the plunger by turning it without damaging the plunger block. Okay, but for yearly maintenance, we also unscrew the six small screws of the black protection boat and we take off the battery block so that we get access to the Hose adapters at the back side. Okay. And the battery block. All right, then we have access to dismantle also the back plate, the metal plate for uh, changing the O-rings that are inside. Okay, well, Tim can remove them by hand. I often need uh, a plier, but then take care that you do not damage the metal hose adapters. And we screw out the throttle valve. There is also one small uh, O-ring that must be maintained. Okay, and we have the black PVC screw here in the housing that is the opening for to use when you perform a pressure calibration. Use a big screwdriver that fits into the slot of this PVC screw not to damage the, the screw. Okay, then all parts are ready for maintain, for cleaning. 
Also now the plunger hole uh, can be cleaned very, uh, very well with the brush and the um, of the service set and we can replace all the o-rings grease it and place it back again when everything is clean we build this meter back again we use the throttle valve we screw back in the throttle valve carefully the plate behind the hose adapters. Use a turn movement so that you do not damage the O-rings. We place back the boat. With a nice turn movement, not damaging the O-rings already. Okay. Yes, we place back the battery block. And mount back the small PVC screw. Okay, how the plunger is moving? Yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, after full maintenance done, uh, make a measurement like you always do uh, to have confirmed the service was done correctly. Thank you for watching us and we hope you have enjoyed and found it useful showing you on how to do a maintenance and also uh, a quick service on your plunger. A well-functioning plunger, quickly to be closed, the measurement chamber see, uh, for pressure measurements. When you have questions left, please contact us with the link of this video. And when you want to see more of us, please browse for more videos on our Tech Talk channel. Thank you for your attention and do not, not forget, forget to, to like us. us. <laughs>